Good evening and welcome to Shano News, your positive source in a crazy world. I'm your host, Jamie Lee. Tonight we visit First Presbyterian Church for the annual Nativity Walk. This weekend, Friday and Saturday, December 2nd and 3rd. Now we're inside the lovely First Presbyterian Church here in the sanctuary where hundreds of nativity are set up for people to enjoy. Bumping into Karen from the church. What's your name? Karen Castile Schleiss. And you are a volunteer for this activity? Yes. How many years have you been having this? This is the 12th annual. 12th annual. And do you know the reason that you started this? I know a lot of times people had Santa and all the festivities, but we have a more special, deeper meaning to this nativity. Right. One of our members, Kay Schrader, wanted to bring Christ back into Christmas, and this was the answer that she came up with. It is so beautiful because, as you can see, there's several hundreds of of nativities here from all over the world. So let's take a little tour. Okay. Show me some of your favorites. Okay. As you can see, let's um, spin around this way. Some of these nativities are made of wood. You have some that are mass produced. Look at um, precious moments. Do you ever have precious moments back in the day? I never did, but I'm quite familiar with yes, them. That was a really popular thing in the 80s. So beautiful. Looks like some here are, are hand sewn and hand decorated, hand painted, but you could spend hours here just looking around and appreciating the true reason for the season, a lot of these manger scenes. Um, we're kind of coming back here. We got some metal ones. We have some um, more youth-oriented ones. And coming back here, Karen, we're in this back section. And as you said, there is nativities from all over the world. Name some of the countries that are, that are focused here today. We have some from Russia. We have from Zimbabwe. We have from some African nations. And I see Guatemala. So look how neat this is. As you can see, the Christmas story is a universal message of love. We're going to spin back this way. Trying to get everything on camera here, but it really doesn't do it justice unless you're here. There's going to be some beautiful Christmas music playing. As you can see, the altar is decorated. There is some um, nativities that are new. And there's also some that are pretty old, maybe some that you used to see on your mantle when you were a child. So swinging back around here, take the time, bring family, bring kids, bring the grandparents. It's an activity for the whole family, all generations. So beautiful. Some of this artwork, some of this, um, the scenes really touch your heart. We three kings of Orient are Look at these three wise men. They're actually from my dear Grandma Rash, who passed away several years ago, and she made these back in the 80s, paper mache wise men. And as a child, I always admired these. They sat on top of her big wooden TV, and I always loved them so much and imagined the wise men bringing these gifts. And when she passed away, I was lucky enough to have these and take care of them now um, so they can be in our family forever. So Grandma Joyce Rash, if you remember her. And then I have these little nativities from my other grandma, Lillian Spitzberger. She's a little angel, so she donated these little ones. As you can see, there's several, many nativities from different families. And they're all listed with the names and the year and description so that you can learn more about the nativities. We've been so busy having so much fun looking at all the nativities. We forgot to mention the days. The Nativity Walk is happening before, during, and after the parade on Friday, December 2nd from 4 till 8 p.m. And tell us about special treats that night. Yes, we will have hot chocolate and cider and cookies. So this makes a great place to stop in and warm up and have a little treat and um, enjoy some Christmas spirit in a different kind of way. Great. If you can't make it on Friday, make sure to stop by on Saturday. It's also open from 9 to 4 on Saturday, December 3rd, and it's free admission. If someone hasn't come to the Nativity before, what would you say to them and why should they? I would say this is a great place to come and look at all of the different Nativities, to put the Christ back in Christmas as Kay wanted, to warm up, and to um, just enjoy this space. Well, thank you for all you do, for all your volunteer work. It looks beautiful. Yes, it does. It, it's really beautiful in here. You should be proud. Now I'm with another Carrie, a.k.a. my Aunt Chick, who also volunteers here at First Presbyterian and was kind enough to ask Shano News to come here. 
I know the Nativity Walk is a big deal, but there's so many other things that your church does for the community. Speaking of, a craft fair coming up this weekend. Yep, we have the craft fair, our first annual one, going on from 9 to 4 on Saturday at the same time as the Nativity Walk. So come on down. There's over 30 vendors that are coming, um, and there's food and other things for, for sale at the, at the craft fair. And the craft fair will be located in the gym. Again, it's from 9 until 4. Perfect time to get gifts and crafts for Christmas. Besides um, that, I know there are so many different ways that your church gives back. Can you tell us more about the community dinners? Sure. Our church um, is the site for the community dinners. And the one special thing about this event is that different uh, people actually are the ones that host the community dinner. We just ac actually have it here in our church. It's the fourth Tuesday of every month. Uh, and come, come down. It's another free event. Um, and they're always looking for volunteers. So if you want something to help with, we'd love to have you. A lot of events going on here. But most importantly, there's worship here. Every week you have a Sunday service. What time? It's at 10 o'clock on Sundays. Um, everyone's welcome. We try to be the hands and feet of God, so we are here to do his work. And to serve the community, which you do so well. And a very special invitation for Christmas services. Make sure you look at the description. Follow First Presbyterian on Facebook and like and comment on this site to help this church and the message of Christ spread throughout our community. Thanks, Anchik. I love you. It's been a really special evening at the Nativity Walk at First Presbyterian Church of Shano and really warms my heart and reminds me of the real reason for the season. This is Jamie Lee reminding you to follow that star and believe in all the good that's coming. Until next time, keep living and loving in the 54166. Merry Christmas.